Hi, welcome. This is Arch Merch 6.1.1, the latest release, and um, we're going to show you how to install it. This, though, this is the installation video. So you boot it up, you burn it to an USB or CD or DVD. No, not a CD because it's two gigabytes. Why is it this big? Because we want to include um, out of the box everything you'll ever need. So these days, an SSD of 120 gigabytes or 250 gigabytes is uh, plenty of space uh, for uh, what we're going to do. All we have to do is follow a few visual graphic uh, steps. As you can see, you can change also languages. There are lots of languages in there. I've tried uh, Italian, I tried, I guess. I tried French. So a lot of things that are in there, but um, I keep mine to English normally. And then I'll tell them that I'm living in Belgium, Brussels. Then we go to next. And then you decide which keyboard you have. You see here, whatever keyboard you press in here. Like for instance, I need the Belgian one. You'll see a change. And it's an Azetti that I need. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult for me for the special characters there. So next. And then my advice, as always, don't dual boot, don't triple boot and more. Just say, switch your SSD, put it out of your desktop, put it back in and do a Windows separate SSD and then Linux separate SSD. Don't go into trouble, don't get frustrated on these things, just switch. So you erase your disk, you say, okay, you're the smartest guy here, Calamares, just you format everything I want. And the guys who uh, want to do it manually, of course, that's possible. Then we have to give the name of this is the name of the computer. You can name it any way you want, but I always tend to name it by the name of the ISO and the number. So that's what we're getting Arch Merge 611. And then you have to type a password. You can decide to log in automatically since uh, we are actually on XFCE. We can decide to just log in or end up at the beginning screen. Just depends how secure you want to be if you are working at home and nobody touches your computer like mine. I say just do this. And if you want to have a separate password for the administrator account or not, that's all up to you. Next and next. While that's running, maybe I could uh, tell you something more about Arch Merge. Let's move this over here. So there is archmerge.com and there's another website called archmerged.com. The D stands for development, documentation and documentation and decides because we have um, two versions. We have the Arch Merge version, which is a complete version. And here it is summarized. It's quite big, it's two gigabyte, but it has everything on board. Three minutes later, you have everything installed just click desktop, click an icon set, a theme, done. This is something else. This is a minimal uh, version. So we stripped everything out of Arch Merge and all you get is video, network drivers and the Arch files, the core things. And then it's up to you. So that's why the D stands for. In the D you decide what you want to have. In Arch Merge you can install whatever you want. And that's down here. If you want to have awesome, you install awesome. If you want to have this one, you install that one. So lots of desktop environments you can install on top of Arch Merged. So that's up to you to decide what to do. And um, okay, 22%. So we have these two versions. This is the thing where you say, okay, let's just have fun and enjoy this thing. Two gigabytes. And this is where you say, okay, so I end up in a black screen. What's next? So you want to learn how to use Arch and scripts and use GitHub and all explained on the website archmerged.com. And you'll find here that everything is, is explained. And what we've done so far is budgie. So in the budgie gallery, you can take a look and say, oh, is this something for me? Do I like this? What uh, Eric is showing here? Are these the things I want to have too or not? And then you just follow our tutorials that are in here. Lots of information about Budgie. 
like so. So we start with zero and then we work our way up till we are finally having a complete system. So that's uh, back at school guys uh, or university, uh, how you want to call it. So it's a learning time and it, it's fun um, to make your own system. And that's this part. That's the arch merged part. You'll notice that if you want to remake Arch Merged, I'm uh, sorry, remake Arch Merge having XFCE Openbox i3 on basis of this one, you'll have a lot of work. So there's a lot of tuning that has gone into Arch Merge, and um, well, we have <laughs> I have uh, talked all the time till we can reboot. Now we're in a virtual box, otherwise I couldn't, I wasn't able to film this. So the CD-ROM, the DVD, the ISO is still inside. So I'll have to do this, but you pop out your USB and then you get this uh, screen. And there we go. Then we boot up. It's a normal message. This one is explained on the website, how to get rid of it. And there you are, we are now in XFCE and that's uh, for me concludes the tutorial. This is just about the installation and we'll go on in other tutorials. Alright, have fun and enjoy Arch Merch.